3G is the only invoice. To clarify, we will work on the following example. Customer 1 bought equipment for $90,000 and the person who prepared the invoice didn't know that the equipment was taxable. That's why he didn't put GST at all. After year end, the company decided to migrate to QuickBooks and transfer the opening balances. And during the review, they found out that one invoice is missing the GST. Communication happened between the accounting department and the customer and they informed him that they are going to bill him for the GST in a separate invoice. How to do that in QuickBooks Online? To do that, we will go to new to create a new invoice. In my case, I have already made the invoice, so I'll choose it. And put the product that was initially billed to the customer in this line and choose the tax rate. Then in the next line, I'll put the same product and its quantity in a negative value and choose the tax rate as out of scoop. So when we check here, the balance due is only the GST amount, as we can see. And when we try to print the invoice or view it, we'll see the same thing. It's only the GST amount. We have two questions here. Why did we choose a product that was originally billed to the customer? We did that to make it easier for us later to track and for the customer to understand what the GST is for and get the correct GST amount. So the other question is, why did we put negative in the next line? We did that to offset the inventory, revenue and cost entries. As we can see when we go to transaction journal here. So the build amount is only 4,500 which is the GST amount and all other entries have been offset on the other side. If we can look here at the sales of product income has been offset on the other side and the same thing for the inventory and cost. That's it for today and thank you. Please like and subscribe.